So in, th in this problem, we want to find which of the following options is true in regard to this graph. Now, in order to do so, a good thing to do in order to check our answers is to find the slope and the y-intercept of this graph. So in order to find the slope, we need to have two points, and we will choose the point negative 2 and 0, negative 2, 0, and our second point can be 2 and positive 1. All right, so now when we plug it into our slope formula, we have y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now when we plug these values in, we have y2, which is 1, minus our y1, which is 0. And when we divide it by x2, which is 2, minus our x1, which is negative 2, and a negative and a negative make a positive, giving us a slope of 1 divided by 4. And our y-intercept form, our y-intercept is going to be half because we have to find where this linear function crosses the y-axis, and that is at the half. So 0 0.5 is our y-intercept. Now if we look at option A, let's slide this up. All right, now if we look at option A, it states graph A is a function with the same slope, m, and the same intercept point with the y-axis. Now if we take a look at this graph, it has the same intercept with the y-axis, but has a different slope. You can also visually tell that the slopes are different. In option A, the slope seems to be sharper, and therefore we can eliminate A. Another way to notice that there is a different um, slope is that the, the plot line crosses the x-axis in a different point with the same intercept point as the y-axis meaning that we have the same y intercept we have the same y intercept but a different intercept with the x axis compared to the graph that is given to us here so therefore you can tell that the slopes are different um, now let's move on to option b let's slide this down all right so option b states that function b y equals 0.25x or fourth x plus 0.25 has a different slope and a different intercept point with the y-axis. Now, we do know that our slope is 0 0.25 in our original graph. Therefore, it does not have a different slope. It has the same slope with a different intercept form, intercept point, which is true. Our intercept point is 0 0.25, or 0, 0 0.5 and not 0 0.25. Therefore, option B is eliminated. Now let's move on to option C, which states function C e y equals 0.5x plus 0.5 has the same slope and the same intercept point with the y-axis. Now it does not have the same slope because our slope is 0.25 and not 0.5. So that is incorrect. And now let's move on to option D, which has to be our correct answer. And let's figure out why. Graph D is a function with the same slope and a different intercept point with the y-axis. Now you can already tell that the different intercept point with the y-axis is correct because here our y-intercept is at 1 and at, in our original given graph it was at 0 0.5. Now let's make sure that we have the same slope. We can take two points and find the slope just like how we did in the beginning. So m equals Let's take our first one, which will be negative 4, 0, and our second point, which will be 0, up 1. All right, so we have y1, which is 1, minus y2, which is 0, divided by x2, which is 2, which is 0, minus our x1, which is negative 4, and a negative and a negative make a positive. So here we have a slope of 1 divided by 4, which is the same slope that we had in the beginning. Therefore, the statement of D is true. We have the same slope and, these, and a different y-intercept. And that will be our final answer.